After setting up your Google Workspace account and creating the user's mailboxes, the next step that you probably should think about is the migration of the emails to the new mailboxes. My name is Carlos and today I will show you how to use the Google Workspace migration tool to migrate or move your email history from any IMAP server over the new mailboxes. The email migration is a critical step when you are changing your email provider. This is a key element to make the move a successful decision. You may find different options to migrate your emails. However, Google Workspace has a practical, efficient, and easy to use tool that will allow you to copy everyone's mailbox history over the new mailboxes. Here is what you will need to complete the migration when using this tool. First, a list of email users and their passwords on the source server. You will need admin role to access the Google Admin Center. The server where you are migrating from has to support IMAP connections. By the way, most of the email servers support this kind of connection. And you will need the server IMAP settings, the server name, port, and type of encryption. The tool will allow you migrate emails from other mailboxes as well. In this case, users may find useful the ability to create filters and labels to organize their emails within their Google Workspace mailbox. Here, in this video, I will show you how to do it. Let's now jump into our computer and I will show you how the tool works. First, you will need to access your Google Admin Center. It is the place where you set up all users' mailboxes. You will need to click on the upper right corner where you find the 90 little dots and you will need to find the admin icon, which is here. Click on that. Once you access the Google Admin Center, you will need to find data migration. You can scroll down and you will find it here. Click on there. And this is the Google Migration Tool. As we can read here, the data migration service helps you easily import your data to your Google Workspace account. You can migrate from different email servers like a Gmail, Google Workspace, Microsoft Exchange Server, Exchange Online, and other IMAP services. In our case, we are interested in migrating from IMAP services. The reason for this is because most of the email services support IMAP connections. So we need to click on Set Data Migration Up. Here, we will need to start setting up the migration settings. Then we click here on the migration source. We need to select where we are going to migrate from. As we said before, we're going to migrate from other IMAP server. Again, we have different options to migrate from. We can migrate from other Google Workspace account, from Gmail, from different type of exchange servers. We can migrate from Microsoft Office 365. And of course, from IMAP server. We click on here, or we select it. Then we need to select what we are going to migrate. In this case, we are going to migrate email. We need to establish the type of protocol that we are going to use. We click on here to select it. And again, it is going to be IMAP. Next, we need to enter our email server name. In our case, our server name is called mail.askitb.xyz. Then we need to enter a email account that will allow us to verify the information that we have set up. We need to enter one of the email addresses that we are going to migrate. The email address is going to be carlos at askitb.xyz and we will enter the password. I mean, this is not the password in the Google Workspace account. This is the password on the server where we are migrating from. Then we click on Start. Now here, Google Workspace Migration Tool is giving us the opportunity to select how much data we want to migrate. For example, we can just migrate the last year or we can select six months, three months, one month 
or we can select or set up a custom date. For example, we select on custom date and by clicking here, we can, for example, we can set up how much data we are going to migrate. Let's say that we are going to migrate emails, if we have it, since 2010. And by clicking here, we can select the month. We can say that we can migrate emails from January 2010. Next, we have a few more options. During the migration, we can migrate deleted emails. I mean, emails that has been deleted from the previous mailbox, if they are in the deleted items. We can also migrate emails that are in the junk folder. We can also exclude different folders during the migration. We may have folders that we don't want to migrate. In this case, we are going to migrate everything. We leave it unchecked. Next, we need to select the users that we are going to migrate. Click on Select Users. Now here the migration is ready to start. All what we need to do now is to add users or mailboxes that we want to migrate over or to Google Workspace. So we need to click on Add Users. And we have two options. We can select users one by one by clicking here. Or if you want to migrate users in bulk, we can click here and we will select a CSV file a comma separated valued file where we will have all the users and passwords and it will do the migration in bulk. In our case, we will select just one user. We will click here, add user, and then we need to enter the source email. It is going to be carlos at askitb.xyz. Then we will enter the password in the source server. It means on the server, where we are going to migrate from. And then we need to select where it is going to be migrated. In our case, we are going to migrate to the same email address or mailbox. And then we select it here, carlos at askitb.xyz. As we mentioned in the introduction, we are able to migrate from different email addresses. For example, we could migrate from a Gmail address to a email address in Google Workspace or we could migrate emails from a Hotmail account to our new mailboxes in Google Workspace and so on. Then we are ready to start the migration. So we need to click here, start. The migration has start and we will see here this message under status is initializing the migration. And as the migration progress, we will see different changes of status until it says complete. This migration process could take from a few minutes to several hours. And in some cases, depending on how much data on the number of emails, it could take several days. As the migration progress, we will see this bar here indicating how is the migration going. In this case, this is almost complete. It's 99%. And when it reached 100%, it will say the migration is complete. Now we can see the migration is complete and we see here under status, we'll see complete. If we need to migrate additional users, we click here on add users and we will complete the information for every user to start the migration. If we have all the necessary information, the migration will be a very easy step. So before starting the migration, we need to make sure that we have all the necessary data. I'm up server settings an email and password for every user that we are going to migrate. After completing the email migration, users will find all their emails and folders within their Google Workspace account. In my daily professional experience, I find very satisfied users when they find all their emails in the new mailboxes after the email service transition. I hope you find this video useful. If you do, please click on the like button. If you have any question or comment, please leave it here below. And if you want to see more videos like this one or want to find it easily in the future, please hit the subscribe button. Remember, it is free and it helps me to continue creating content like this one. Thank you and I hope to see you next time.